Hey guys, so today is laundry day, but realistically, what day is the laundry day, truthfully? So gonna touch on a couple things. We're gonna talk about three products specific to laundry, and then one that's kind of like my little hidden gem in the laundry room. So first up, we're gonna talk about our Ultra Power Plus laundry detergent. So our Ultra Power Plus laundry detergent is it's awesome. So many people use it. It's very concentrated. So this is a one kilo bag. A little goes a super long way. Inside the cup, uh, inside the bag, there's a cup that is more meant for measuring if you've got a top loader washing machine. If you have a front loader, which pretty popular these days, probably I'd say the majority of people I know have it. I keep a little handy dandy teaspoon measure. Yes, teaspoon measure to pop in the bag and I just switch it from bag to bag. So in our super hard Calgary water, I will use one teaspoon, maybe two teaspoons if I'm doing a big full load. I just use two teaspoons of this in my washing machine and that's all I'm using. I'm going to post a little bit um, um, in this post what's not in this. So I mean there's no fillers and no optical brighteners but I'm going to post something on that one specifically. So have a look. Ultra Power Plus is definitely something you're going to want to consider. Next up in our journey to eliminate uh, as much of the toxic, toxic chemicals as we can from our world, we're going to start eliminating dryer sheets. That's the fabric softener sheets that um, people know and love because they love the scent. They're not good. They are meant, they inhale, they're absorbed, and they also leave a residue on your dryer that uh, is not so good. So what are you going to replace it with? These guys are the fluff and tumble dryer balls. They're 100% New Zealand wool. What these guys do, there's kind of a misconception on what these guys are for. They create pockets of air inside your laundry so that the heat from the, the dryer can actually make you know better circulation. So it creates a more efficient dry. So it's gonna cut your drying time back. So I hear a lot, I get so much static when I switch to dryer balls. That's because dryer balls are actually doing their job. A lot of people say they're not working. They're actually working super hard. So. If you're getting static, cut your drying time back significantly. Um, basically, we Norwex says up to 25% uh, 25 reduction in drying time. David Suzuki's website says up to 50 with the use of wool dryer balls because it's a natural fiber. It also absorbs humidity from the air as well as helping that circulation. Cut your drying time. Also take out the things that cause static. So your fleeces, your tech fibers, those guys dry in about 15 to 20 minutes. A normal drying time goes 40, 45 to 50 minutes, depending on your dryer. So you've got the super dry, already dry fleece, those fibers creating the static with the other stuff as it's drying through. So if you're getting static, cut your drying time back and hang up those fibers. You can also add a little bit of essential oils, make sure there's no carrier. You're gonna to wanna to use that uh, on an air fluff cycle because the heat from the dryer is just gonna wreck the oil or destroy the oil. If you want your sheets to smell like lavender, put all three of these guys in, run it through its regular dryer cycle. When it's done, take one or two drop of essential oil, pop them back in, run about a 10 minute air fluff cycle, a cool cycle, and you'll get that scent. These guys, awesome. Next up is our Microfiber cleaner, known as the laundry booster or just the booster. So this guy's one of our um, enzyme products. Great for microfiber. Love using it on my tech fibers, like my Lulus or my my mountain biking gear, that type of thing. Gets in. It helps to soften the fibers. It helps with any odor odor that started to build up. Um, it's just a great product. It can be used in the float, which I'm going to describe in a bit of the post a little bit later on. Doing the float of your um, your microfiber cloths, your Norwex cloths, to give them a great big refresh. It can also be added with your laundry detergent to give that particular load that you're washing an extra oomph. Booster is amazing. And now for my hidden gem. You know, if you've got a front load washer, the way your door ends up getting that scrungy buildup and you can get the scrunge, the, the mildewy buildup inside the, uh, the seal of your door. My solution is the Enviro Scrubs. So these, this is an Enviro Scrub. It's got the scrubby one side, it's got the Enviro on the other side. I keep one in the laundry room, wet it down, go to your door, take your scrub, 
give your door a scrub down, flip it over to the Enviro side, give it a rinse, do the same inside the seal of your door, and done, using nothing but water. It's got a hang up, handy hang up tool so you can have it hanging and ready to go when you need to do it. These guys, Enviro Scrubs, you're gonna hear a little more about those later too.